Hey guys, I noticed recently that the most viewed video that I have on my Sims YouTube channel is about the mod conflict detector and recently it's been updated so it looks different than it did before. It basically works the same but um, you can read the description yourself and it'll tell you what some of the changes are supposedly uh, the guy Dimitri I think is how you pronounce it has fixed some errors that the other one had and stuff personally I feel like the first one was easier to use and I'll probably continue to use that as long as it keeps working for me I don't see where this one's faster you can try it yourself and see if it works faster for you maybe if you have less space like less things that you've been downloaded because mine runs really slow trying to load it because it's like over 6,000 package files or whatever so this is what you're gonna see I'm gonna leave the links down in the description at the bottom it's gonna be two separate links this one is from mod the sims it's a little older but you'll see up here you have some screenshots of what it looks like and what it would look like if you had like an error or something. It, it still does the same things as the other one. It'll tell you if it's a mod conflict or if there's duplicates or if it's a game modifier or if it requires extraction or last but not least of course uh, if it's not the right Sims type it's, if it's for Sims 2 or Sims 3. So you can get that from here. This isn't the newest, newest one. The newest one is uh, June the 26th. So this is the one before that for June the 22nd. So if you want the newest one, which is the one I'll be showing you, but it looks the same as far as I can tell. Um, I'm also going to put the link for this one down, and this is from Dimitri's actual site so he's updated this one more recently than mod the sims apparently and you can read through the comments what other people have to say about it like if you have some kind of problem I always suggest doing that that's what I do when I have a problem um, plus he, he tells you what he's done like errors fixed and some improvements and he even says that file analysis may take a bit longer which like I said, it does. It takes a lot longer. So once you've downloaded it, I've already done that. You're going to want to put all the files that come in the zip after you've unzipped it into the same folder. All these like DLL files, they all have to be together for the program to run. He actually says that in the description on one of the downloads. So you're going to get a EXE, just like the other one, and that's what you're going to click. And this one actually doesn't install anything. I think the other one did install, but this one just pulls it up and this is what it looks like when you click it. And it doesn't take that long to start up. Once it fully loads up, you're going to see the screen right here and it tells you what each one of these functions are for. The directory is one you want to see in your whole mods folder. Files, you can pick certain ones. Um, and then pretty much the same thing for this one too. Um, it says check a newly downloaded mod for conflict. So I haven't used it that much. I kind of played around with it to see how to use it so that I can make this video because like I said I'll probably stick to using the other one, I just like it better. So you can go through the settings. <laughs> I didn't change anything on here. You can change the different colors if you want to, if you don't like this gold scheme that's going on. Um, check for updates, file, files, directory. Um, this is where your scan results is, are going to show up. For me, when I first opened it, I didn't have to put in what where my mods folder was. It's just, it just was already there. But this is what I would do. Um, I would open up files like this, and then 
Open up my documents. Electronic Arts, Sims 4, so you find your mods folder, pretty much. And then from here you can pick which ones you want to scan. So these are the newest ones that I just downloaded and added to my game. So I'm going to pull them in here. And they're going to come up. And you could do that with like whatever folders you have. Or if you have them uh, separated like I do or if they're all just in the mods empty, you can just drag and drop them. And you're going to see all of them in here. And then you can pick over here what you want to do. Do you want to check if a file modifies the game? Delayed scan. I'm not quite sure what that what's what that's for, what that option is for. And then find duplicates. So I'm gonna do both of these and it'll give you a little information over here on the side. And then you hit scan. Now this is still color coded, but it's not quite the same as the other one. Um, green doesn't really seem to mean anything. I found the light blue, if it turns light blue, then that's a mod conflict. Or it could be a duplicate. It'll tell you in the conflicts area right here. Like it's coming up right now. This is a game modifier, game modifier. Um, so it tells you like what kind of file it is. It's a script file. Um, if it's unknown, if it needs unpacking, if it's a duplicate, that's where you're going to find it at. And you just wait for it to load up, depending on how many items you put in here. You'll see the loading bar at the bottom. And it's going one by one, because some of them say not analyzed. Alright, now they've turned blue. So you're just going to wait for this to load. I guess this bar at the bottom has to completely load. So, so like I said, if you put a lot of package files in here that you want to scan at one time, I'd suggest doing only a couple at a time. Set your whole folder if you have like a lot. Because mine was going for like over an hour and it was like barely any progress at all. So that's why I said I'm really not a fan of this one because it's just so slow. I think it'll be more useful for people that maybe don't have that many. I don't know. It's up to you. I just want to have the video up here and kind of show you a little bit about it and give you the links for it in case you want to download it and try it yourself. So I don't think I have any duplicates in here. I just have uh, game conflicts. And they still work in my game so that's why I haven't taken them out. I don't. I don't know, I get a lot of conflicts with uh, windows and things like that. So you will go and click whatever it is and it'll show you down here just like in the other one where it opened up separately on the right side. This one just shows you down at the bottom and you can right click it and you can show in folder and you can delete it that way or you can delete it straight from here. You can disable it, which disables it in your game, but doesn't delete it out of the folder or anything. And then if you wanted to enable it again, you would just click it again later. So it basically has the same functions as the other one does. It does the same exact thing. I I don't know where how it's supposed to fix errors. Like maybe it, it's more accurate as far as telling you. Because like in the other one, I know sometimes it would tell me that it was a game conflict but nothing seemed to be wrong with it so I would leave it alone and it would be fine so I don't know if this one fixed that or if it's still the same way because I'm still getting a lot of the same ones these are the same ones that get highlighted in the other conflict program as well so I hope that helps like I said I haven't really used it that much you would just go down the conflicts list and use your own judgment if it said it was a duplicate to get rid of it and if you thought maybe it was going to mess up your game you could get rid of it if it said mod type sims 3 sims 2 you definitely want to get rid of it 
uh, if it says unpack needs unpacking, then you would have to unzip that folder that you have, and I guess that's it. So I hope this was helpful. Happy simming.